Thank you for watching candlestick trading video. Breakouts and fakeouts. There are only two ways of trading price action. On the pullback or on the breakout. Breakouts are easier to identify the bar is higher or lower than the previous bar. The breakout signifies that the, the momentum is with the overall trend, provided we have uh, our system in place to avoid a fake out. This offers a good to excellent change of success. Breakout should only be traded in an established trend and one way to do this is to look at a higher time frame. If this is heading in the same direction as the time frames you are trading then you have a better chance of success. Then, if uh, it is uh, trending in the opposite direction, sometimes after a breakout price can retrace a little, you should be able to establish how much it is uh, likely to do so by looking at past price action. For this reason, you need a larger stop loss to accommodate the possible movement. To some, the larger stop loss can be seen as a daunting and a disadvantage. However, this needs to be weighed uh, up against the advantage uh, of trading with over or price m momentum. Almost all of the dynamic traders originally started with small stops or no stops and now uh, all comfortably use larger stops to enable trading with the trend. Fake breakouts are very common. They can uh, and most probably will occur on any form of a support or resistance line. Fake outs can trigger you into an unwanted trade at a huge loss to your bottom line if this event occurs on a frequent basis. There are numerous techniques for this, but a fairly straightforward one is to wait until the bar closes beyond the resistance or support level. Fake outs can affect your stops too depending on how you calculate them. A fake breakout can last longer than one or two bars or the weeks of a candlestick. For this reason, some experienced trend traders tend to uh, are happier to wait longer to get into trades. Thank you.